How to write use a mobile crane load charts for crane selection. Let's imagine that you need to choose a mobile crane for installing some building structure. To do this, you have successfully calculated the technical parameters for a mobile crane, such as hook lifting height, load weight to be lifted, moving horizontal distance of hook, and boom length. Let's the hook lifting height is equal to 18 meters. The load weight to be lifted is equal to 2 tons. The moving horizontal distance of the hook is equal to 12 meters. And the boom length is equal to 22 meters. Please note that, these parameters, are the minimum required, that is, you cannot accept less than calculated. Now, you take a catalog from the manufacturer, that you have won. From this catalog, select some kind of crane, let's call it crane 1. There are the mobile crane load charts in this catalog. Consider a chart that relates to the crane, which one we are considering. By the way, these charts are varied, and each manufacturer produces its own. Also in different countries, they may have different designs. But the principle of their use is the same for all. Usually, horizontal axis is the moving horizontal distance of the hook in meters. The vertical axis is hook lifting height in meters. The curves in the chart represent the boom length and lifting load capacity. To begin with, drop a perpendicular to the horizontal axis from the point, which is equal to 12 meters. The point corresponds to the moving horizontal distance of the hook. Next, the intersection point of the perpendicular with the curve, which is responsible for the boom length is determined. The boom length of 22.9 meters is considered because 22.9 meters is greater than 22 meters. The point of intersection of the perpendicular and the curve is the maximum load capacity of the mobile crane with the boom length of 22.9 meters and moving horizontal distance of the hook of 12 meters. Let's check whether the received load capacity satisfies the required one, which was determined by calculation. Following the chart, the mobile crane is capable of lifting a load of just over 2.5 tons, which is more than determined by the calculation. Thus, the crane under consideration already satisfies three design parameters. These are load weight to be lifted, moving horizontal distance of the hook, and boom length. Now it remains only to check whether the mobile crane satisfies the requirement for the hook lifting height. To do this, from the point of intersection of the curve in the first perpendicular, the second perpendicular to the vertical axis is dropped. It is 18.7 meters, which satisfies the calculated value. So, following the chart, the mobile crane is capable of lifted of 2.5 tons at the moving horizontal distance of the hook of 12 meters, to a height of 18.7 meters with a boom length of 22.9 meters, which fully satisfies the calculated parameters. Thus, the crane can be safely used. Thank you for watching. Please click on the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see new videos.